Hi friends, in this video I am going to show the things related to the proposed surface creation in both civil 3D and open roads. Okay, proposed surface is very very important to check the proper matching and uh, whether our design is following or not. Means a uh, cross fall is uh, falling perfectly or not. That is the perfect check. If you check the proposed surface contours, that will be a final uh, means approval. Okay. So most of the GDC companies will check this proposed surface. Okay, so let's uh, start how to create that proposed surface in civil 3D and open roads. Let's go to open roads. See here we have the existing surface and then this is our alignment. Okay, so and this is our profile. Okay, so profile must be active. Okay, so now go to corridors. Here new corridor, can you see? Here there are various feature definitions. Okay, design final and final with contours. Okay, so any anything you can keep. Later you can change. Okay, so first corridor display, then profile, and then just give corridor name. Okay, now this is from where to where, lock to start, lock to end. Okay, now. lock to start lock to end then drop interval 10 you can give then see i applied the template it will just take time ah, see now it has been let's see this corridor has been created if you want to see in 3d you can just just right click okay mouse now can you see here normally in civil 3d we can create surface directly in the corridor itself there is one option you can add a corridor surface here there is a one one step below you have to you have to create a top mesh top mesh is nothing but whatever the top layer can be created as a single layer okay top uh, this artwork and uh, a payment layers and this median everything come under a single layer that is called top mesh okay so how to enable that top mesh in our corridor that's why in while creating a corridor there are various feature definitions this feature definitions defines uh, some stages and in design stage and the final st stage like that so uh, in this there are various properties changes so I'm going to change that to display that top mesh. How to do that? Go to Explorer. Then here, Open Road Standards. Then Standards, Corridor. Go to Feature Definitions. Here, can you see? Corridor. Let me let it be. It will take time, I think. Oh, sorry. Explorer, let close, Explorer, Standards, Feature Definitions, Corridor, Road, Design. Now right click, Properties. Here can you see, these are the properties changes for design stage and final stage and final with contours. In final with contours, they display this one, top mesh display, you just on true. So what it will do, it will create a layer on the top of the road. Okay. Now after that, just process that. See, now this cyan color. This is top mesh or grade finish. This can be used for the proposed surface creation. But in civil 3D, it will create automatically surface but here you have to create a top mesh first and then you have to create terrain later okay so now using this go to terrain additional methods can you see create terrain model from design meshes just click here and then see here you can do both top mesh using top mesh or bottom mesh bottom mesh is nothing but bottom of the road 
that also can be used sometimes for the uh, borehole data some various purpose so now so top mesh and bottom mesh so i am selecting top mesh and then give a feature definition so this is proposed surface i am giving the proposed boundary okay now no need to worry about this one this boundary or else no you can, you can give or in, in no need to give okay just stop left click left click yes 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 created can you see see here this additional line this design boundary okay or else you can give proposed surface okay this will be very useful for the various disciplines if you want to insert traffic signs so multi means uh, multi disciplines ask for the pr proposed surface so proposed surfaces creation is very easy first thing you have to select a proper feature definition of the corridor okay if you if you select design no need to worry go to explorer okay and then here open road standards and select proper feature definition right click properties then here can you see here it should be true then only top mesh will be displayed once it displayed go to additional methods can you see create terrain model from design meshes okay that's it very simple okay uh, i hope you understood okay so this is the one thing in a uh, open roads okay now we will go to the civil 3d okay now see this is alignment and i have designed some just simple profile okay now we will we are going to run a corridor okay how to do that go to corridor corridor same similar type nothing and then corridor just select alignment then profile this layout for assembly you can give main line copy or whatever okay and then this surface practice okay that's it then okay now here you can change that interval similarly 5 i can give 5 just click apply rebuild the corridor okay see now corridor has been run but surface has been uh, not created so how to create that surface this is very simple go to here then corridor properties here can you see surfaces here this one left click create corridor surface then after that here top top okay add as break line okay overhang top links that's it so just click other way just wait surface style this is this you can keep one meter five meter design okay okay that's it okay rebuild see now corridor has been created but this is somewhat uh, means dispersed so how to fix within the corridor go to right click first here corridor right click corridor properties boundaries can you see right click corridor extends as outer boundary Just see now it is fixed if you see if you want to check whether it is created or not go to here surfaces can you see
interface has been created okay triangulation surface okay very simple in civil 3d it is very simple uh, but in open roads also very simple just one step one step is back in since civil 3d in compared to civil 3d okay here you have to create a top mesh then you have to create a tenant but in civil 3d just run a corridor automatically you can create a surface how go to corridor properties here surfaces this one okay f click and then top add it okay that's it after applying automatically it will come if you want to display this thing you can display you can change this okay after that go to boundaries and click this one so then it will automatically shrink to the uh, your corridor okay that's it okay Th that's it guys i hope you like the video i'll make a uh, uh, part two of the civil 3d and open roads comparison okay within a uh, few days okay uh, thanks for watching please subscribe my channel okay please guys support me